Hey, it's your boy Physique, welcome to my channel. Too easy. Let's get it. Okay, so we just finished a killer leg workout and I'm about to get some snack in before we go to the track. I'm gonna do some soccer drills and I'm gonna do some uh, some sprint drills as well. Um, I normally go to do between uh, track or doing, you know, 20, 30 minute um, cardio at the gym. I would choose going to the track because it's more fun. It's outside, you can get some vitamin D. You know, you can listen to some music. Uh, I just like the vibe better. Um, so what I normally do is uh, for my cardio now, I've been doing um, eight to 10 um, sets of 100 meter dash. I don't go all the way. I just go as fast as I can, sometime halfway. Then I will just, you know, jog the rest and I will come back, recover. My recovery time is between my walking back, then I'm gonna run again. Again, depending on how tired I am. And then when, whenever I, I'm tired on the track, then I will go to the bleachers and I will do bleachers. I will do 10 steps of the stairs uh, going up and down. So that might take me about 20 minutes. And um, I, I always, I've been seeing better results from that instead of doing like 30, 35 constant endurance cardio uh, because I'm giving my maximum effort. I'm giving everything, right? Um, but the only thing I've also learned from uh, visiting with one of my friends that is a track athlete was that um, you have to make sure you warm up very well, especially your hips movement. Make sure you really warm up your glutes, your hamstrings, uh, because you don't want to pull something. And also, you also correct my form, then I have to make sure I'm driving my knee forward, uh, my knee higher, I meant forward and higher. Uh, so that way you are actually striding instead of just like taking little steps, you know. I got short legs, in case you guys don't know. <laughs> but um, anyway, so I'm about to get his food in and it's go time, baby. Well, just in case you guys know, soccer is my first sport, number one sport. I mean, most Africans, that's our number, number one sport. I've been watching soccer all my life. Um, if it's not for fitness, it will be, I would have really tried to be a soccer player, but, you know, circumstances, you know, didn't allow us. But um, I've been around, like, one of my best friends is a, is a soccer coach. Two of my best friends, they are soccer coach. So I've been around soccer drills all my, most of my time in America, so, and I've... Uh, so I'm really familiar with like what to do, how to warm up and all that. So I'm going to show you guys, you know, what I do to warm up for my soccer before I start playing. And shout out to my boy, Bear is going to be shooting some cool footage today. So hopefully it's, it, it's fun. I'm excited, yo. Deserve.
know that master, bro. That, that man is a legend, bro. Yes, sir. Should we do this to your ball? Let me advise you. This is gonna make the ball look like an egg. Especially if you're a fat ass like me. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You think you're in shape, bro. Then you play soccer, they're like, nah, man, you are out of shape, man. You run two, <laughs> you run the field twice, and you are done. Like, it just, it hits you in the face. Like, yeah, you can prepare. Dude, I love it. This is good for me, though, because Saturday and Sunday is gonna be super hot. Unless I don't know which one I'm yeah, going like to go. Yeah, like 98 on Sunday? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. At least if I go to two games on Saturday, we'll see what happens. Because if it's just one game on, 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 on Sunday, I'm not sure if I'm going to go, bro. I'm not sure. Depending on how tired I am. I'll try, though. It's always fun, though. Like, soccer. The one thing in soccer, if you're scoring, it's fun. If your team is losing, bro, <laughs> it sucks. Because that means you're just playing defense the whole time. It's going to be miserable. I don't know how to. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys one of my varieties of uh, way of treating cardio. Uh, for me, I normally try and you know, uh, switch up my cardio because sometimes cardio is very boring. So one of the, my variations of a cardio is, is uh, running track. And again, I want to make sure I warn you guys, if you want to run 100 meter dash, make sure you warm up correctly. Make sure you do multiple hip movements to make sure like your hamstrings are, are loose, your quads are loose. Uh, make sure before you, you sprint, you, again, you are, you're properly warmed up, all right? You don't want to pull anything, all right? So I try to come to the track, I will do sprint. I will do between eight to 10 reps, depending on how energized I am feeling. Then whenever I max out on the track, I will go to the blisters and I will do between, you know, eight to 10 as well. But it's always a fun way for me to just come out here, you know, be myself to, to maximum. But anyways, it's a fun way for cardio for me. I hope you guys enjoy, you guys liked it. Let's get it. Too easy. Woo! I'm gonna get half sprinting, then I'm gonna get two more as much as I can. Too easy, bro. Too easy. Woo! Three, two, one, go. Two, three. Too easy. All right, so now I'm max on the track and I'm going to the bleachers. You guys might be wondering, you know, why this excessive training? I don't think it's excessive, but some people might think, why kill a leg day and I come to the track? Honestly, for me, it's more of a mental. Um, for me to function right, I need to go as hard as I can. 
that's the only way I sleep at night. Most nights I can't sleep if I don't do what I'm supposed to do. That day I have like insomnia, I won't be able to go to bed. And with other things, you know, um, I'm originally from Nigeria. I live in America with my wife, but you know, most of the time, some days are hard. It just means your family, you miss home. But you know, fitness is always there for me. You know, it's bigger than abs, man. Abs, is, they're cool, you know what I'm saying, of course. You know, getting muscles is cool. But I train as hard as I can every day um, with no end goal in mind because that kind of translates to everything else I'm doing in my life. You know, once I go to the gym, I got some sweating. You know, I'm always grateful for health because I know that money, probably most people, you know what I'm saying, don't have that health, that money. So it's, it's, a, it's a prize, it's a privilege, you know. And um, of course, like everybody else, when I started, it was for the looks, but the deeper and deeper I got into it, I just want to share my joy of fitness, you know. I really do feel like you know, if you're suffering from self-esteem or you have a hard time, a good time, gym always keep you humble, you know, also keep you, keep you straight. When I've gone through a hard time in my life, gym is always there for me. The way doesn't talk back, you know. And then when you're having a good time too, when you go to the gym, maybe you're feeling like you're on top of the world. You try to bench press 110 dumbbell, then it humbles you. Then you realize you have a lot, of, a lot of work to do. So, you know, like I said, fitness to me is a metaphor for life. And that's why I'm putting myself through this, man. I'm not saying everybody should do what I do, but if you're someone that's watching this video that is thinking about it, man, it's worth it. I don't say hire me. I'm a hire a trainer if you're scared of going to the gym for the first three months, you know. A professional will help you find out how to work out correctly, how to work out efficiently, how to work out without injuring yourself or without um, just wasting too much time with too many noise. Right now we have too many noise, so many experts online that Nobody has actually validated their credentials to, to actually prove if it's correct or not. So hiring a trainer from a gym that has been trusted, of course, read the review, um, it's always a smart way to go. Because if you're going to go dive, skydiving, you're not going to just be like, hey, you know what, I'm just going to wing it <laughs> when I'm in the air. No, you, you're terrified, right? You're going to hire a, a, ski di a skydiving instructor because you're scared. So I think because fitness is not as dangerous as skydiving, people kind of take it for granted. But then when they get injured, then, you know, that kind of slow down all your momentum. Let's think about how hard it is to start. And then imagine adding injury in that. So if you can reduce your chance of getting injured, I would do that. You know, hire a trainer for maybe 60 to 90 days. That will help you to know how to train, what meal plan to eat. You know, also you'll be able to pay attention to yourself. You know, it's the best gift you can give to yourself, you know. Anyways, I think my two minute break is up now. That's why, you know, Physique Brand, uh, I created it because my goal for my brand is to be great regardless. You know, every day I tell myself I have 100 excuses that I can make, or if I can just find a way to just be better regardless. You know, that's my, that's my mantra. And when things are hard, I try to tell myself too easy. You know, that's why I know my wristband, I say it all the time. Because the way to kind of condition myself like, man, some people are suffering worse than you, bro. If everybody bring out their issues, man, you're gonna pick yours and run. So um, anyways, I just feel like I gotta share that because I'm about to kill myself again. Let's get it. Um, yes, sir. Good. Appreciate you guys. Subscribe for more. Love. Let's go. Ooh. My boy's here. <laughs> 